this video, we will focus on defining sustainability in the public sector innovation and explain how it can be planned and achieved as well as measured. Starting from the basics, sustainability of a new solution can be defined by its feasible and effective implementation and opportunity to evolve, replicate and scale at the service beyond the group of stakeholders included in its development and implementation processes. According to the social innovation theory, there are three main ways to define the sustainability of a solution, by its ability to scale up, to scale out, and to scale deep. By scaling up, the co-creation initiative is increasing the volume of participants from the same context and creating an impact on the laws, policies, and institutions. By scaling out, the co-creation initiative and implementation of a solution are being replicated to other contexts and introduced to different stakeholders, such as dissemination of new principles and collaborative formats to the larger audiences. By scaling deep, the co-creation initiative and the use of a solution are increasing the impact of social cultural transformation. Thus, by scaling deep, the initiative manages to spread new collaborative formats in order to change those norms, beliefs and dispositions in regard to the uptake of the implementation. Co-creation in policymaking may seem time-consuming, especially at the beginning. However, it is the backbone of attaining sustainability for the implementable solutions as a result of public sector innovation. It minimizes the risk of development constraints such as multiple and complex approval stages that can exist during implementation. Policymaking in general ought to follow a repeated experimental or trial and error procedure in which the final product is tested for feasibility and sustainability until the most desired product is secured. From the perspective of a policymaker as an initiator of co-creation, the sustainability of the solution is defined by his or her ability to inform, sensitize, mobilize, engage, and sustain involvement and co-ownership among the relevant stakeholders for whom the solution is being created or developed, as well as the ability to apply co-design methods and tools in developing participatory processes. To maximize efficacy and impact of the process, policymakers could consider the involvement of social designers and community workers to boost interaction among contributors and stakeholders, and to make the process more hands-on with tangible milestones. These experts would be seen as co-facilitators of the collaborative processes. With the popularization of the co-creation methodology, Ever more frequently, policymakers are invited to join the micro-scale and macro-scale co-creation challenge-based projects and are asked to provide their support in the development of innovation solutions. In these situations, policymakers can use the existing ecosystems as their policymakers' playground and learn about the networks, partnerships and processes concerning recurring challenges and how stakeholders brought together have been able to address them. In this way, policymakers can use the acquired knowledge for the development of a new policy theme while providing support to the co-creation ecosystem. Therefore, from the perspective of a policymaker as another stakeholder partner, the sustainability of the solution is defined by his or her active involvement and ownership of the prototyping and development processes along the co-production and uh, the ability to build capacities for knowledge transfer in his or her administrative unit, acquired through the experience in collaborative projects. As a final product, service or system, the new solution should be designed to achieve an impact, which can be measured in both quantitative and qualitative terms. In a general check to see if a solution is sustainable, the following questions can be used to reflect. Is the final solution an added value to the society? If yes, has it resulted in progress or caused a dent in the problem? Has the solution met the expected level of efficacy and effectiveness? If yes, has the solution shown results that work in the society? What is the impact magnitude of the solution? Have the beneficiaries 
being given the opportunity to express their take? Is there a base number of beneficiaries? Is the solution and its impact in society aligned with the mission of the other initiatives? Does the solution allow for synergies with other successful initi initiatives? Has the implementation of the solution proven to have a negative impact on other critical aspects of the society, such as the environment, religious grounding, education, or politics. Complementarily, some of the quantitative performance indicators that can measure success include the number of partner organizations, stakeholders groups involved, citizens involved, joint activities developed and implemented with stakeholders, synergies with other ongoing and past initiatives, new services created around the common challenge, and for the creation of new policies. A sustainability strategy is defined by its objectives, analysis of target audiences, communication and dissemination channels and tools, and the list of exploitable results and outcomes. Special emphasis should be placed on promoting the diffusion of knowledge about code design practices among involved stakeholder partners, as well as on connecting and strengthening the existing national and European co-creation initiatives for the purpose of policy making. An example of a success story is LabX from Lisbon, Portugal. Its objective is to create networks, workspaces, and experimental environments to involve citizens and decision makers in the process to interpret real needs of target stakeholders and collaborate to design new services. LabX is founded on the belief that public administrations must learn about and with the citizens and companies. This means that public administrations need to stop guessing what the public wants and get them involved in order to know and recognize their real needs. LabX has built its reputation through visibility and effectiveness of its activities and concrete results. It has established itself as an agent of change in the culture of public administration to improve and transform diverse types of public services through targeted interventions. For a solution to be sustainable, the relevant stakeholders need to see the added value through practical means. And according to LabX, the existence of a practical and concrete component allows the materialization and visualization of the possible solution which is visibly an added value to the stakeholders.